beautiful cancer babies so guys i know the past couple videos we had some issues with sound and i apologize so as you guys can see i'm at a vacation rental and when i set everything up i was rushing and i did not realize that we had issues with the microphone so i apologize okay so let's go ahead and get pop in here um so guys if you're interested in crystals to clear your chakras um for meditation, for manifesting, uh, for anxiety, insomnia, you could check out Kim K Crystals. She will be going live on her YouTube channel. Um, you can find all her information in the description box below, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, and guys, please, before posting a negative comment, please keep in mind that there is people that resonate with these readings and that are suffering right now. So leaving a negative comment does not affect me. I know how to clear my energy, but it does hurt the people and it disregards people's feelings that are actually um, going through uh, what's happening in the reading. Okay, so please keep that in mind. All right, moving on. <coughs> Ooh, I dropped the cards. Let's get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancer babies, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Okay. So we have the Ace of Wands, and we've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles, more Earth energy. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy, and we have the Eight of Cups, okay. So Cancer, this could be um, energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through. This could be something someone close to you is going through. This could be your side. This could be your person's side. So take, so take it as it resonates. Under the deck, we have uh, the chariot. So there you are, Cancer, in your own reading. Um, I have to get my selenite stick. I know I brought it with me. I feel so naked without it. I want to like roll it in my hands and I don't have it. Um, okay, so... What we have, Cancer, is a situation where someone made a decision to either not be emotionally available in a connection or to walk away from a connection. And I feel like it was a pretty solid decision. You know, the judgment card talks about not going backwards. You know what I'm saying? Making that final and solid decision. Um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, uh, I do feel here coming into the present moment that there is going to be some form of communication coming in. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like someone here is determined to have a very grounded or stable place in someone's life, okay? So someone here made a decision to not open up emotionally or to not connect in a situation emotionally or to walk away from a situation altogether, Cancer. But now I feel like someone's coming in Either they're claiming to be a friend or they're coming back with an apology, but I feel like I feel more so the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. There's this energy of I, I want a place in this person's life, whether it be a friend or whatever the case may be. I don't want to lose a place in this person's life with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I feel like someone here, you know, because we have two pages here, Cancer. OK, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. So this is a fun energy. It's a lighthearted energy. It's a friendship type of energy but then we've got the ace of wands and the queen of pentacles so cancer i feel like perhaps someone here made a decision to walk away and now they're they're trying to stay in someone's life hoping that there will be a new beginning for commitment okay um queen of pentacles is a very committed energy and the ace of wands would be a new beginning um possibly you know what i'm saying uh, a, a possibility of having a sexual encounter with this person we've got the chariot here cancer which is an indication of somebody that 
is making moves knowing that it will lead to some form of victory. Like someone here knows what they want, they know what's best for them, and they're making those moves. It's kind of like that plan, that strategy, um, hoping that something will come of this. So Cancer, this could be your energy, this could be your person's energy. But I feel strongly here like someone is just kind of trying to stay in the friend zone, hoping that uh, one day... Um, there could be a new beginning here in this connection. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Cancers. Tell me about the Judgment card. Tell me about the Judgment card, please, for Cancer. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Cancer. Ooh, okay. We've got the Justice card in the reverse. The Justice card in the reverse, we've got Libra energy and we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So again, Cancer, there's this energy of somebody not pursuing something. Someone here decided to either walk away or not open up emotionally, um, not pursue something. And that was like a final judgment call. Someone here said, you know what? I don't wanna open up emotionally. But with the Justice card in the reverse, I feel like someone here is now paying their karma for doing that. Five of Cups under the deck, someone here has regret or sorrow for making that decision because it's, you have to understand, with the Judgment card, when you make that decision, Cancer, there's no going back. The Judgment card is making a choice that once you make that choice, the consequences of that decision are real, okay? So I feel, Cancer, that you know someone here, again, walked away, didn't emotionally connect, and now they're really karma is hitting them pretty bad because there's all it's almost like there's no going back okay so let's see here tell me about this queen of pentacles for cancer and guys this could be in relationship it could be family it could be um you know what i'm saying friends tell me about the page of pentacles Ooh, queen of pentacles again capricorn taurus virgo energy and the tower aries scorpionic energy so cancer this could be an energy where someone finds out some some shocking news, okay? Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles could re be a representation of a parent and a child. It could also be a representation of someone here finding out news that someone is committed elsewhere, okay? Um, the Strength card, Leo Energy. So now someone here is in a position where they want something, but they can't have it. Do you understand? So Cancer... It could be one of two things here. Either you're shocked that this person is coming in wanting some form of a friendship or a relationship with you. They want a solid place in your life, okay? Or cancer, the person on this side is about to find out some very shocking news. Like it's going to, like their world is going to come crumbling down. They may find out that the person on this side has committed themselves elsewhere. And now again with the strength card, they want something, but they have to hold back because they can't have it. Tell me about the Ace of Wands here for Cancer. Ace of Wands for Cancer. And tell me about the Page of Wands for Cancer. The Page of Wands. Okay. So we've got the Hermit in the Reverse, Virgo Energy, and we have the Three of Wands. So Cancer, what we have here with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands is someone who is yearning for another chance. They're yearning for that start, that opportunity, okay? We've got the Queen of Wands and the Lover's Card. So this is somebody that's sitting on the outskirts. You see that snake hovering over that couple there? This is a third party energy that is hovering on the side okay they're hovering on the side waiting to sneak in when something goes awry with the hermit in the reverse and the page of wands i feel like the way this person talks and acts cancer with the page of wands energy and the hermit in the reverse there's this energy of you, you don't really okay so the hermit takes a step back to analyze a situation right so the level of innocence because pages are children so there's very innocent communication happening here so there's no need for somebody to take a step back and analyze and question someone's motives do you understand so this person is really flying under the radar cancer so someone here is just waiting on the sidelines waiting in the friend zone okay you've got this third party person that's just hovering Hovering over this relationship waiting for something to happen here okay so let's see what we have here yeah I feel like someone here is finding out that the other person is committed and now this person is just kind of waiting on the sidelines clarity guidance love messages Ooh, clarity guidance 
love messages for my beautiful cancers please what do my cancers need to know today please what do my cancers need to know today please tell me about cancer tell me about oh my gosh okay All right, so we have the chariot again, Cancerian energy, and we have the world card. We have the strength card, Leo energy, and the king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy, and we have the two of swords. Under the deck, we have the six of wands. Um, okay, so Cancer, the person on this side closed out a cycle. Now, this may have been a karmic issue, okay? But somebody here closed out a cycle. And with the chariot, this person decided to pursue something uh, and made a decision that was best for them, okay? With the strength card and the king of swords, I feel that the person on this side also wanted this connection possibly, but with that King of Swords energy, this person decided to face the truth of the situation, cut out what no longer serves. This person on this side started using their mind, not their heart. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, they stopped using uh, passion, lust, um, uh, you know, love uh, as a means of making a decision. They, they smartened up, closed out something that no longer served them and move forward. With the moon card and the two of swords, I feel like the person on this side is coming into this energy where they're very mysterious, okay? They're very mysterious. They're not opening up. They're not speaking. Um, you know, even if the person on this side still has repressed emotion, they're not opening up about it, okay? Because they've already made the decision that this isn't good for me, so I'm letting it go. And with the six of wands here, I feel like the person on this side um, is either in the public eye or a lot of people are talking about this person. Um, you know, maybe this person has leveled up in some way, shape or form, whether it's financially or physically. Um, you know, someone here is just looking very good at the moment. Okay. And that's because pretty much this person on this side is doing what's best for them. All right. So let's see here. Tell me about my beautiful cancers please spirit tell me about the world card tell me about the world card for cancer and tell me about the chariot okay oh look at this cancer wow okay so we've got the five of swords here on top of the world card uh cancer the person on this side gave up the person on this side said you know what I'm done. You know, someone here, this person maybe sabotaged the connection and maybe sabotaged it for the last time cancer. So what I'm feeling here is the person on this side just gave up, closed out the cycle with the six of wands and the chariot. So we've got the six of wands here twice. So whatever this person is doing cancer, it's victorious. It's they've made the right decision for themselves. The chariot is a victory card. Six of wands is a victory card. So we've got three victory cards here back to back. Six of wands, six of wands, and the chariot okay under the deck we've got the star uh Aquarian energy and the two of cups cancer someone here may have been wishing for a soulmate connection or wishing for a very strong um committed relationship so i feel like the person on this side possibly found that they were divinely guided because the star card also talks about divine guidance so i feel like the person on this side allowed the divine to lead them towards a connection where there is love and commitment and stability tell me about the strength card and the king of swords okay so we have the strength card and the hierophant in the reverse. So Cancer, as I said, the person on this side may have wanted the connection with this person over here, okay? They may have truly wanted it to come to fruition, but with the strength card, someone here is saying, listen, this is never going to work out. I'm using my higher judgment. I'm, I'm listening to my guides and, and my angels and the divine, and I'm going to pull away. Why? Because with the hierophant in the reverse, the hierophant is the priest. It's a representation of a higher power of the divine um, number one it's because it's not divinely guided or it's not fated to be that way and number two there's no commitment there maybe the person on this side is very um, you know isn't traditional enough or isn't commitment material do you see what I'm saying um, yeah see with the ace of cups here the judgment card and the empress we have someone new that has come into the picture and with the judgment card cancer the person on this side is choosing this person because 
now cancer the person on this side has upped themselves to empress level someone here is now you know being looked at as a wife or as a mother or you know what i'm saying being put on a pedestal in some sort they're being treated like the empress that they are you understand and there we've got the chariot again also cancerian energy so Someone here is making the best choice for them. And look at the second card that came out, Cancer. King of Swords on top of the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So I, I feel, Cancer, that someone here is just operating from a place of logic, doing what's best for them, regardless of how they feel emotionally. All right? Tell me about the Moon card here, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Moon card. We've got the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. So, Cancer, even with the Moon card, if there is any lingering repressed emotion, okay, the person on this side is not going to talk about it. They're not going to acknowledge it. And with the Death card, eventually there will be transformation. Eventually, whatever those emotions are will fade away. And, you know, the new, look, see, I was about to say, new day, new dawn. We've got the Sun card under the deck, energy there will be healing there will be transformation and there will be new growth happening here tell me about the two of swords and the lovers card so cancer the person on this side is aware that there is a snake hovering over this connection they are aware that a decision had to be made and they are not going to with that two of swords energy allow this snake in because of the strong soul tie connection that they are in currently eight of cups and the knight of swords cancer i feel like someone here has walked away and possibly quickly found themselves in a new connection okay so cancer if you have yet to truly emotionally disconnect from this situation you will find a new love very quickly okay once you move on from this and that will end up leaving the person on this side hovering in the friend zone tell me about the challenge here for cancer please tell me about the challenge here for cancer please okay so we have the five of wands we have the Four of Wands, and we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and under the deck, we have the Five of Cups again. So Cancer, the King of Cups in the Divine Masculine is someone who has a tremendous amount of love and feelings and emotion, but they're not showing it. They're not wearing their heart on their sleeve. The Five of Wands talks about jealousy and strife and competition, and the Four of Wands is um, a wedding. It could be a twin flame connection, but it's more so a divinely guided soulmate. It's someone that you share a lot in common with. You guys mirror each other, okay? So what I'm feeling here, the challenge, Cancer, is that you have someone here wallowing in regret and sorrow. Um, this person is having a lot of anger a lot of jealousy they feel like um, the new person that has come in is competition and uh, even more so they're angry because they can't compete against the new person because they provide stability they provide a sense of um it's almost like the person on this side has more in common with the new person than they did with the old person. Do you see what I'm saying? So this person has a tremendous amount of love. They have a tremendous amount of rage. They have a tre tremendous amount of jealousy happening here simply because the new person could provide something that they couldn't. Okay. Now, Cancer, this could be you. This could be, you could be this third party person that's really upset because you're watching someone else get into a relationship and, you know, straight up even though it really hurts to say you see that that relationship is working out better than the, than it did when they were with you okay and that's a really painful thing to accept um so there's a lot of regret here a lot of sorrow and a lot of pain and that's the challenge here that this person's just hovering over um the other person because they're they they messed up really bad you know what i'm saying and they have a lot of feeling and emotion that they can't seem to get over at this point in time tell me about the outcome here for cancer please the outcome here for cancer we have the nine of wands and we have the eight of wands and we have the four of cups under the deck we've got the knight of pentacles so cancer 
the outcome here is that okay so the eight of wands is a representation of communication it's also a representation of moving forward in life being passionate about what you're pursuing and the nine of wands talks about taking on a very defensive stance okay so cancer either this person is going to come towards you with a lot of communication wanting to go out wanting to do things and with the nine of wands energy um, someone here may be called to kind of protect themselves or defend their life okay um, or it could be an energy here of somebody wants to move on but they're stuck and blocked with the four of cups energy we have someone feeling very lonely very bored um, king of pentacles energy capricorn taurus virgo energy is an excruciatingly slow energy so cancer i feel here that someone is lingering on the side waiting for something to happen so they can make their move so i i feel like this person with that nine of wands energy they feel like they're blocked sitting on on the outside left out in the cold they're waiting with that eight of wands energy to pursue or communicate or to jump in and with the four of cups they're just waiting and it's taking forever so they're waiting you know what i'm saying to um to come to, to jump in uh, I don't know, Cancer. I don't know if that they're ever going to get that opportunity, but they are sitting there just waiting at this, you know, so Cancer, if this is you that's waiting, I don't know if you're ever going to have that opening. Um, or if, you know what I'm saying, if you're in a new relationship, if things are going to go wrong and this ex is ever going to be able to sneak back in, okay? So let's see what we have here, Cancer. We're going to take it into the extended, okay? This person here is coming up as the King of Cups. You're coming up as the King of Swords. So remember, Cancer, gender doesn't matter in tarot. Okay, we read energy. So let's see what is happening here, Cancer, between these two people. Let's see if this person will eventually move on. Let's find out what's going to happen with this new love connection. Will this new love connection uh, be long lasting or will this past person be able to sneak their way back in and uh, take over again? Okay. So so let's see what we have happening in the extended. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below, okay? And don't forget to check out Kim K Crystals. Link is in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye, my loves.